you like these ones? Yeah, they remind me of bathroom shoes. They're very comfortable. If you get Crocs, then I have to get Crocs. We love. Not this color though. I don't think so. That's a nice color. I know, but I need that. I want a black. Okay, but the one I would get is, where is it? The flamingo. Look how cute these flamingo ones are. They're adorable. I would definitely get these ones if I could. Yeah, then why don't you get these ones? <laughs> well, should I get these ones? <laughs> Wait, these are really like fashionable though. I can see someone maybe wearing this and it's like really pulling it off depending on what your outfit looks like. But these are kind of cool. I'm kind of feeling these ones. These are the best basic tank tops ever from Banana Republic. Um, I don't know, I can't, I'll show you better later, but I bought some online and now I sell them in the store and they're half off right now. You need to get these basic tank tops that you wear under um, your clothes or like to, to like, they're high neck too, so they're great. We're about to go into H&M and I'm looking for those loafers, those like black loafers with the gold chain that are basically sold out everywhere but I really want them. I love the H&M kind. I saw some at Steve Madden, which the bottoms just seem too thick, so. We haven't really found too many things we like. My dad got Crocs, so he succeeded in his mission, but I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to, to find it. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Guys, devastating development. Here are the shoes. They are so cute, but they don't have my size. They only have size five. So sad. They're also sold out everywhere because they went viral on TikTok. I'm so sad. Ah, it's okay. We move on. Inshallah, I'll find another better one. Did you find anything that you liked today? Today? My, why? I didn't. I just came with you guys. I yeah. wasn't looking at anything. What are you doing? <laughs> just getting your beautiful outfit. So I got the shawarma bowl from Native Foods really good. It's Sunday and I just uploaded my video and my mom, my biggest fan, watches all my videos immediately. <laughs> what do you think about this and why? I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> You'll tell me at the end. <laughs> yeah. High standards. The review is coming. <laughs> and she reads every single comment as well, so she also she likes the comment before I even like them. So if you get a like on your comment first, it's probably her. <laughs> so I just got off a very exciting meeting for something I'm working on. That's kind of like a dream come true in a lot of ways. So I will hopefully be updating you all about that soon because I'm going to start working on it soon so you'll definitely be seeing that but I'm just so thankful and excited about that and truly I feel like it's kind of the beginning of something new for me so I'm excited about it. Um, so I just got off that meeting and um, it's around like noon right now. I just, I kind of wanted to show you all some things that I recently bought, some clothing items that I recently bought, um, and see what you all think about them. Uh, also, I announced it on my Instagram like the week before last week, but I'm officially signed to a modeling agency. Yay, no ties model. So that's like really exciting. Um, Modeling is something that I love to do. I've done it here and there over the last few years since I moved to LA. And it's something that I've just kind of been thinking about forever. Uh, but yeah, I decided, you know what, why not? No time like the present. So I was lucky enough to sign with an amazing um, agency like No Ties. So excited about that. That being said, I have my first shoot. It's a test shoot on Thursday and I have to come up with some outfits for that, which low-key has been kind of stressing me out um, because it's, I don't know, it's like I have obviously have no issue styling myself, but sometimes I feel like it's hard to know what would look good on 
camera and what you can photograph well with especially because these are going to be shots that i'm going to have for a while so yeah it's a little bit uh a little bit weight weighing a little bit heavy on my mind but i'm gonna do that right now but i want to show you all some of the things i have gotten you know little haul if you will okay so the first thing that i wanted to show you all is this jacket i wore it the other day for my sister's birthday but it's this gorgeous vintage jacket i got it at a thrift store it's from a brand called vital zone and it's just so beautiful it's this like um windbreaker material and I love the color, I love the designs. I was like going back and forth about getting it and then one of the workers looked at it and was like, oh my God, that's a beautiful jacket. And I was like, you know what? You just convinced me. <laughs> but it's just gorgeous. I love the print um, and I was thinking when it's a little bit warmer, or sorry, a little bit colder, I was gonna wear it with this like, um, I have this very similar color uh, turtleneck and just wear it like that maybe tuck it in it looks cool if you tuck it if you tuck it into to like a high-waisted jean so I might style it like that but I'm so excited about this I'm gonna be wearing it all fall because it is lighter and obviously it's not gonna get cold for a while actually it's getting hotter in the last few um, weeks so there's that but I'm gonna wear this a lot so people be prepared to see that a lot the next thing I got which was so so excited about is another thrifted item it's this beautiful top it's as you can tell it's very see-through but I'm gonna wear something underneath it it has like eight balls on it like flaming eight balls and it has thumb holes and it's like like a mock neck it's so cool it's so cool there's a lot I love this type of um, I love this type of shirt I've seen it in a lot of iterations over the last few years it's been really cool. So I've seen this a lot, but I thought the other types I was seeing were like very, very expensive. So this is really cool because it was like 13 bucks and ugh, I love it. It's like brand, it feels brand new. It has all the tags on it. So excited to wear this too. The next one is something that I've been wearing and you've probably seen me wear it a lot. It's this uh, also thrifted item, like a men's shirt. I always get it from the men's section tip. These shirts go for so cheap at the thrift store. I've seen them in like H&M, these places, but this, such good quality, so durable, very cheap at thrift stores. I see it a lot at different places, but this is super cool. I roll, I roll up the sleeves a bit, wear with like a white tank top or a white like shirt and yeah, love it. Staple piece that will never go out of style. So love that. The next thing I got is this little French hat from H&M. It looks, let's see if I can wear it right now. It's like a little half beret thing. It looks a little like a graduation cap. Actually, it looks exactly like my graduation cap, but it looks cool if I like push it back, but I have to like really get in there. It looks kind of cool. I'm still deciding whether or not I love it, but I think it'd be cool for the shoot that I'm going on. So I might style it with like all black situation and maybe like a color for hijab or something so that's something else i've gotten the next thing that i got is hang tops that i showed you all when i went to the outlet malls basically i have one on right now it's a black one but i got the gray and the white one the other day there are these really cool tank tops they're such a good basic such a good material and they're high um neck but they're really cool they come in so many different colors and i wish they came in like a darker brown there's this one i think it's called like oatmeal this color which is kind of like a beige but i wish they came with like a like a deeper brown that's my my, my hope but they're really cool and they're on sale right now on banana republic uh the website so i'll link that below but it's a super good basic to have the next shirt i got is from zara it's this top right here it's this like floral top with like a really cool back shimmy situation like it shakes <laughs> um and then it has this tie here it's also like a is like a what is it called like a you gotta tuck it in situation on the bottom but really cool i have this shirt similar to this but i love this colorway and i love the designs on it so this is another option i think i might wear for my shoot as well the sleeves are cool yeah i i really like this so it's available on zara right now and the last thing that i got is this skirt i don't usually get skirts but 
This skirt was just calling to me. I really like it. It's like high waisted, like tie skirt, not tie like the place, but tie is in. You're tying it. You're tying it. So it like goes around. Let me let me show you. Excuse my pajama bottoms, <laughs> but it goes like this. Where's the hole? There's a hole on this side, right here. And it goes like this. And you tie it like, like this. You can tie it like this. So, it's really cool. I love the design of it. I, mean, I don't think I'm wearing it the right way. I think you wear it, yeah, you wear it like this. I love the design of it. I love the stripes and the bigger stripes. It's just such a statement piece. Um, I'm thinking about wearing it with like leggings and like maybe like a maybe like a top not this design top but like a top that's like this but the solid color would be kind of cool yeah it's like kind of edgy the models wearing it with like these tall boots and they looked really cool so yeah I might do that but anyway that was my mini haul agenda for today I am hopefully going to get my eyebrows done that is something that I'm trying to do right now and then finalize the looks for the shoot I also have all these hats that I'm trying to style as well with this and I have all my clothes <laughs> also wearing this with like a turtle neck like this would also be kind of cool Anyway, yep, so I'm trying to style these. Yeah, I'm really excited about the next few days and weeks. And honestly, this month, this month, inshallah, is looking like a really good, exciting month. So I'm excited about that, inshallah. And yeah, okay, I'm gonna get some lunch right now. So sorry. in LA for my photo shoot that I talked about earlier. Really excited. The traffic wasn't too bad today, so we made good time. This is like a test shoot, so basically this is a shoot that helps build out my portfolio as a model, so it's really exciting. Also, I got my nails done. Sorry this vlog is really short. Next week I'm traveling to shoot a really exciting project. So I basically have to get a lot of things done before I go. So I'm really sorry this is like a little bit let like shorter than usual and kind of just not as, you know, just not as like how my vlogs usually are. Hope you understand. I'm wearing this like my white shirt right now with this dress that I've worn a lot of times. I got my nails done yesterday and so I have like a few colors of nail polish and they all, all look kind of the same so I grabbed it in the dark and when I got to the nail place I was like this one and it was the white one but I meant to get like like the oatmeal beige ones so I was like ugh but still it's okay. I also got my eyebrows done yesterday at a new place and I don't really love it if I'm honest it just kind of looks she changed the shape of my eyebrows a bit and made them a little too skinny but it's okay, not, a, not the end of the world. Also something that happened the other day that I wanna tell you all about. Okay, this is like trigger warning if you're like squeamish about blood. So trigger warning, click out of this video for a little bit. Uh, basically, I was packing for the shoot and I was just, you know, headphones in, I was like watching TV, packing, not really do, you know, just do my thing. And then I looked down and then like my whole uh, floor was like covered in like blood splotches. And I got so scared. I didn't know where it was coming from, what was going on. I was like so worried. I looked at all around, I couldn't find it. And then I found the whole bottom of my foot was covered in blood. Sorry, this is like, maybe this is a little bit, I don't know. But I looked down and I didn't know what was going on. So I like went downstairs, cleaned off my leg, thinking, did I get like a huge gash? Nope, just a very tiny, tiny like cut, like so small that it almost looked like a pinprick. It was so weird, but it was like gushing blood. And I have no idea why. I think I cut my, I stepped on something cause I had broken, if you saw the um, sister controls my life video, that little flamingo I painted, I 
dropped it and it I think I stepped on one of the remnants of just like the, the part of it but anyway it was just so much blood and I had to put like two bandages on it I guess I went really deep but now I'm okay but I just thought it was like so crazy because I was like panicking that moment because I had no idea where the blood was coming from anyway so that's kind of the update I'm also packing because I'm traveling next week doing the shoot and editing so I have a lot to do but honestly this I had to like take a step back and say just like alhamdulillah like su be super grateful because this week I spent it being busy with things that I really would not have expected to be busy with and so thankful for you know what I mean like I spent my week busy with things that I was actually super excited about passionate about instead of just you know busy work and in a career or job that I don't want to and I have to really acknowledge how amazing that feels and how hard I've worked to get here so anyway I just want to take that moment that sometimes you need to take a step back from just like the hustle and bustle and like the you know you can kind of get caught up in like all the little micro tasks you have to do that you don't really take a step back and say like wow this thing I'm working towards or for or you know is is something that you actually want to do and that have you've been working hard on to really give yourself credit and to really just be grateful and have gratitude for that so I'm taking a moment to do that right now and I'm encouraging you to do that as well so yeah I'm gonna just probably just eat a bit to get ready for the shoot and then I will take you in the shoot with me Hold up. B-roll, as they Amazing Jamie. Thank you so much for everything. We you're had welcome. we had three. Sure. No, you're not. <laughs> you have a tall energy, and that's all that matters. We, we did we I think this is one of my favorite shoots, honestly. Mm -hmm. It was it was great. It was so much fun and it was all because of you. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we just finished the shoot as you just saw, and now we are gonna have a quick lunch at Pura Vida, which is here in West Hollywood. And yeah, I'm feeling good. I think we got some really fun shots. So yeah, I'm excited. Mm. 